What's going on guys? It's your boy Julius back at it with another exclusive video. Again, I got my 2012 KTM 500 and today all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some custom work to the Fender Eliminator here or it's not really Fender Eliminator. This is the OEM stock Fender. I'm going to be doing some, some cut work to it because I don't like the aftermarket Fender Eliminators and I'm going to be replacing the blinkers that I lost. So let's get to the video. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be making some cuts to this. This is the stock fender eliminator or the stock fender. Um, it usually has some reflectors on the sides. It hangs down, you put your plate here, you still have this piece hanging. I don't like the aftermarket fender eliminators because I do like the size of my brake light. A lot of them have a more streamlined brake light, which it looks good, but in a practical use and a safety uh, perspective, I like to have my brake light as large as possible. So I do like the brake light that comes with it. It's not like the ugly square Husqvarna one. This one's actually kind of nice. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make some cuts. Hopefully they come out good. If they don't, then you know, I'll make a change, but I got my Dremel here. I got my safety glasses on and let's get to cutting. Okay, so let me show you what I got. The side reflector piece is gone. I tried to clean up the edges. I'll probably get some sandpaper on them. That's as smooth as I really can get with the Dremel. Um, all the excess at the bottom is gone. And of course, this side is gone. So just nice smooth cuts. I'll show you the tools that I use to make the cuts. So this is the cutting wheel. And then to clean up the edges, I use this kind of angled file. So that's what I did to clean up my stock fender. So now to add the brakes. Now that I'm looking back at my camera footage, I just realized that I lost a lot of footage. I changed the mode on the camera without paying attention. I'm not too used to having the GoPro 8 yet. So I changed the mode and I've been taking pictures instead of recording. So in order to remove this, you're gonna have two six millimeter bolts that go from the license plate holder to the fender of the bike. And that's gonna be in the front. In the back, you're going to have two, uh, was it 10 millimeter? Let me see real quick. It was eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolts. And that's gonna hold the back part of the license plate holder to the fender. So once you remove those, you pull this down, you should find your, um, your wiring should be right behind that and you know just to disconnect it from the headlights or from the blinkers that you have currently or if you already removed them because they broke you know what it is um so yeah that's how you take this down and from there we will install the blinkers and start wiring okay so here is the blinker installed on the fender um not the prettiest location but at the end of the day i just want it to be uh legal and i don't want to have any issues with being pulled over or anything like that so what i did was i found the original pigtails um and i wired in the female adapter that plugs directly into the male adapter that's on the light so i bought the female adapter for this part so that's what the install i think is going to look like we'll see how that looks once i get it up on the bike and see if i actually like it um but the Let's see, the brown wire is going to go to the white on the light and then the purple wire is going to go to the black. So let's turn the bike on, hit the blinker to the left and there we go. Pretty bright and uh, good enough for me, it's better than not having anything. So. I will repeat the process on the other side and now that I know what I'm doing, I will show you guys step by step what I did. Okay, so for this side, I am going to remove the plastic or the rubber gasket like so. I'm gonna 
cut the piece here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that just to make it flush and also do the same for the light. I'll be right back. Let's turn the key on. Attach the light here so we can see. Hit the blinker to the right. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the black rubber gasket and glue that back to the back of the light now that I cut the uh, grommet off. So I'm gonna add that and then put the double-sided tape so I can put it on the fender. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I have the lights wired in. Um, they're not glued yet. I wanna make sure that I can tuck everything where I need it to and get the screws where they need to be. So let me grab everything I need for that. are in I'm gonna make sure you're not pinching anything severely I actually decided to mount the wire or the lights right around the old light location I didn't really like the look of it being next to the light the way I was first doing the other side so I changed the location on both sides um, I'm gonna go ahead and double side tape them right here hopefully the tape is strong enough to hold if not I may have to switch over to glue but I do want to try the double-sided tape first. But there's put in these two six millimeter screws here. They're up there good. Alright, and then in the back I have the what size are these again? Let's see. Back side we have the eight millimeters. If I could just find the screw that I was using. There we go. All right, so you got two eight millimeters that go back here. So two six and two eights, and that drops the undertail section or the, the license plate holder, whatever you want to call this area. That's all it takes to drop this from the KTM 500. Oops, that one's not going in right. Okay, now that I've got everything in place, I do want to check and one more time and make sure that the blinkers are working. So let me turn the bike again, make sure I didn't pull any wires. Left side's working and the right side is working. So not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and double side and double side tape these. Hopefully that's going to be good enough to hold it. Let's see, yeah, right there. Who knows, maybe I'll just use some plastic JB Weld. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. For now, I'm gonna double side tape on both of them, get the plate mounted, and I'll be back with you guys with the final product. Okay guys, so there is the install of my new blinkers. This is just me using my creativity to, to try to solve a problem that we have with KTMs. So this is a no means a how to video. In hindsight with everything that I did, I probably would leave that grommet and widen the hole that comes stopped 
that's on the uh, on the tail and just stick it in there. Um, but these are seven dollar headlights each, so I spent all in all twenty bucks by the time I bought the headlights and the fittings, um, the the uh, connectors. So twenty bucks, and I feel like I might have solved an issue because if I fall over, I'm not going to be breaking the tail lights. Uh, which is something that happens and this one hopefully does not get burnt by the exhaust It still is kind of close, but we'll see so like I said, it's just me using my creativity um, Giving you guys some ideas you can find lights like this at pet boys. They have oval they have round they have square whatever fits your idea and, and, and In your mind whatever fits your project, but I think this works. So let me give you guys a quick look at what I got so left blinker right blinker and yeah, it's better than nothing for sure. So I did go ahead and use the double-sided tape, stick it over the two holes. I am happy with it. If you like this video, man, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next project on this bike. Uh, I think the next thing I'm gonna be doing is fixing the front wing. These things are just dangling. So I got some ideas for that, a little more creativity that I'm gonna use. And now that I did these, uh, I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in, like I said, and uh, I'll see you next time.